Hey, and welcome to my channel. Today I'll be unboxing a Singer 1306. And let's get started. It's a sewing machine and Singer seems to be one of the better brands. Alright, let's see what's in here. Oh look, they added two candies. That's really nice. I'll be having these later. <laughs> let's put these aside. Alright, so we got some manuals, first of all. A little card, this is where I got it from. And then we got the sewing machine right here. actually kind of hard to get out. <laughs> this is Hold on. Right, how am I gonna get this out? <laughs> oh, this is Everything else is falling inside. <laughs> Alright, I think I've got it. Oh my god. Yes. Oh, oh, oh. <laughs> Alright. So here it is. I'm gonna be putting it on my table and then we will look at more of it. So see you in a second. Alright, so here's our sewing machine. <laughs> I was able to get it out of there in the end. It took quite a bit. Anyway, it came with some cables, which was in a little box. And here's the stuffy coat as well. Let's put it on. So I just thought that there was only one cable and that it was just the stepper foot. But as you can see, it's actually together. So basically, it's come two cables in one and you can see it's connected here. So this is something that kind of confused me at first. <laughs> Maybe all sewing machines are like that, I'm not sure. This is actually the first one that I've ever owned myself. Alright, so contained in this little bag right here, are a ton of things that you will definitely find helpful when you're trying to sew with your new sewing machine. And it's really nice that this also comes right in a little bag of its own. I'm now going to show you how to put thread on this little thing which goes inside the bottom box. And this will be the thread that comes from underneath. Alright, so basically what you do, here's the big thread thing. I know I have brilliant language skills. <laughs> so you put this on one of the parts here, I think preferably the right one. One of those little sticks pointing up. So if we just closely go and look at that, you can basically see the big thread is here, or the big spool, and then the thread goes right into there, to that little first hook, into here, um, and from here, sorry that the camera isn't so bright, you can see that it goes in from the front, goes around that way, and then it comes down here. So what you want to do right after that is you want to find one of these little spooly things. The ones that go underneath, you want to make sure that the hole that you're looking for, where the thread comes through, is actually on the top. You want to take this thread and put it through that little hole at the top. Like so. I think I'm just gonna roll this around that part a bit more. And then you can put the little spool place right here. Once you've done that, you can lock it into place. Lock it into place by moving the spool itself a bit to the right. Perfect. And this is where the spool is. So here, it is the spool itself that you actually move. 
you don't actually move anything other than the actual spool, which is sticking onto this metal part. Alright, and now you should be able to just press that little stepper and it should spool up a spool. <laughs> Great English, there we go. Nice, and it seems to be doing that, I think. <laughs> Alright, let's film that closer, actually. There we go. Yeah, and it's doing it. And you see, the other thing is also going wild as this is happening. Which is fun. <laughs> Alright, we're gonna go a bit more, just so we have enough thread. And then we're gonna leave it. Alright, I think that should be enough. Nice, so let's take this out. Oh, I'm gonna cut the thread at this part. I'm sorry, but I don't think I can film this while cutting. Or maybe I can, I don't know. <laughs> Perfect, there we go. Nice, and here. Yeah, so make sure you first get this out, or like push it out of its lock position. And here you have it. Alright, now it's time to open this part up. Pull it to your left. Oh. <laughs> no, I'm dead. <laughs> what on earth? <laughs> that was unexpected. <laughs> Damn. <laughs> okay, so you pull this part out, right here, and then you open this part up by just taking it with your finger from one side, and then you pull this part out right here, and you pull it out by pulling this out. Alright, so you then put this pull in there, in a way that the thread is facing away from this little hook that's coming off here, so you see. You then put it up here, and make sure that your thread ends up in this little space here. Like so. Here we go. Then it's time to put the spool in here. And you do this by lifting this part up again. Perfect. You close it up again. Put this part on here again. And now I can thread the top part of the sewing machine. Alright. So now that we have the bottom thread in where it belongs, now we're going to do the top thread. So for that, first of all, make sure that you have the presser foot up. And also make sure that the needle is in a position where this part here, right here, is in a place to take your thread. And you can do that by just turning this here backward. So here's the thread. The first thing we're going to do is we're going to be pushing it through this part here. Like that. Then we're going to be taking it through this part right here. I'm going to make sure it ends up right there. Then we'll take it down this area. And we're going to pull it through <laughs> thread disappeared because it's not long enough. <laughs> Alright, pulling it out. 
Okay. So we'll take the thread and push or pull it through there rather. Pull it around this little hook that is right here. And then we'll pull it right down like so. Now it's time to thread the string through the actual needle. Alright, hold on. Alright, so let's thread it through the needle. Sometimes it's easier if you just cut the thread, so I'm gonna do that. Alright, we have cut the needle, <laughs> we have cut the thread. And now we are ready to put it in through the needle. Come on. I'm actually gonna switch on the light on the machine. Alright, got it. Yay. It's stuck in my nail. Nice, I actually got it in. And there we go. So now it's threaded. Just leave the thread behind like this. Make sure it's a good length so that it doesn't screw up with your actual project or so. Yay! Alright, and that is how you thread a Singer 1306 sewing machine. Thanks for watching! Don't forget to subscribe to my channel. Sometimes it's easier if you actually just cut the needle. Oh, why do I keep saying needle? <laughs> now, I'm gonna move the thread over into this area right here. Which cuts off the thread. <laughs> but the instructions told me to do that, so I'm not sure why it did. Alright, so here we are. Here's the wa- here's the- <laughs> Alright, so here's our sewing machine.